Well guys, we we're here at the Salvation Army and I kind of did it again. Uh, this one's got some scratches on it that are undone. I have four or five copies of that, but uh, what used to be here is now in the cart. I will show you guys later what that is. So, little pickups for today. Hey guys, you may or may not have noticed that I have been taking the past week off because I had to get through all those records that I had gotten in and I wanted to show you kind of my progress. Uh, what I've done was, I, of course, I've ran out of sleeves. I don't have many sleeves here. Um, what I've been able to do is the ones that were ready to be done, I have sleeved and cleaned and listened to um, and got those away. But the majority of them, Mrs. VV spent more, most of the week going through the pile and alphabetizing all the records that I got and then putting them in a raw section. So like here, here's all my A's that are done. But as you can see, they're all in bags. Those have been cleaned, ready to go. And then there are all of these A's. The raw A's. Because, you know, um, I don't really, really like having a raw A, but, uh, hey, you know, we all get raw A's once in a while, especially after Taco Bell. Anywho, so once I get through, we're going to find the doubles, go through them, clean them and all that, once I get more bags and sleeves, which I am out of right now. And so each section has that. There's my bees and then the raw bees. Um, well, actually, the bees start way over here. But nonetheless, that's what I got. At least they're categorized so I can find them and I know what I have and don't have. We've got them organized. And hopefully at some point, all the raw stuff will be moved over into the completed section. I also took the old original 1949 45s, the first 45s ever made. Got them cleaned, cataloged with the sleeves, and got them in a, hung on the wall in a way that's, you know, not going to ruin them, like just hanging them on the wall without any kind of protection rod. <clears throat> Sorry. Yeah. Actually, this one down here, the Eddie Arnold. If you look really closely, if it'll show there, you'll notice it says 48-002. That is actually the second 45 ever made. Uh from RCA on vinyl. And that that's just fabulous. And just in, in, in comparison, this one's number 45, and this one's number 180. So I need more of those that come in different colors, but uh, that's going to be part of my whole display diorama. So that's what I've been doing. That's what we've been doing going through. I do have my double pile down there, and I'm going to be using that for trade bait or possibly uh, getting some more of my... French records from that lady over at the Marriott that she's holding captive. But that's it for now. Let's see what I got today out thrift shopping because you know what? I'm so far behind. I need more records. I'm trying to make a video here. Can you eat quieter, dog? Jeez. Chew with your mouth closed. Oh, I'm recording. Yikes. All right. First stop is the Salvation Army. Um... Somebody new is working there this time. See, it used to be pretty standard like clockwork. Every single record was 99 cents. Then we went there last time, and they were 69 cents. This time, keep an eye out of the fluctuations. They're not bad fluctuations, actually. Matter of fact, I have the Coral Explosion. I have no clue what this is. But when it's 29 cents, and it's still sealed... Files coming up. And this is the kind of thing that makes me cry that <clears throat> somebody had this and this wasn't even loved enough to be opened, to even be spun. It's just still sitting in the shrink and just sat in somebody's collection and then finally they said, eh, give it to the Salvation Army. So I'm going to give this guy some love and see what these kids are up to and what they're doing. Hi, kids. Should be interesting. Uh, Alfred's Cor Coral Explosion Volume 2. Next up, this one was 69. <laughs> Too easy. Um, Flower Drum Song, uh, Rogers and Hammerstein. Um, Mary's and I got this is A, it was, you know, 69 cents. I don't have it. But B, the vinyl is in really good shape, and it's a Columbia Masterworks. So uh, definitely worth the thing. If you haven't heard any of those great Masterworks from Columbia, the Six Eyes, they sound mwah, phenomenal, especially when they're in really great shape. I uh, 
directed by Gene Kelly. I mean, I haven't seen this or heard this. I know nothing about it. This is a good thing I'm hearing. You know, somebody named, uh, here's on, I don't know what their name, but on the back, it says here, can you read that? It says, uh, I saw original cast in New York. Slides also. See, the stories, it's these stories you find. That's kind of interesting. Um, a record that my parents had that I'm very familiar with that I thought at some point I would have always gotten in my collection and still haven't gotten a good copy of, I got today. Jesus Christ Superstar. Um, got mine for 79 cents. And it does have the gatefold. It's in good shape. Boring gatefold. Um, but the records are nice. I have seen others in the wild that have been pretty roached. This one is not roached. So, happy to see. Jesus Christ Superstar. Hey, what they say you are. Rock opera, man. Even if you're not religious, this is a good rock opera, man. Peaches and Herb. This one was 89 cents. Consistency, folks. Um, but this one is too hot. And uh, this one also. Original inner is in there. Great shape. Look at the shine on that. Look at that gloss. It's like brand new. Couldn't leave that behind. My first ELP, y'all. No, it's not the cool stuff with the Geiger artwork, okay? You know, and the cool die-cut covers. But, you know... Emerson, Lake and Palmer got myself Love Beach, which is probably got to be, I am not familiar with this album at all, um, but if you would have taken the name off the top, I would have been like, oh, is this like Seals and Croft and some other guy, or Loggins and this definitely looks Yacht Rock to me, man, and did ELP turn into Yacht Rock, or did they just make a bad art decision on making a, a Yacht Rock cover? I don't know, but it's mine. And this one was 99 cents. Also for 99 cents to pad out my organ collection. Because I don't have enough. The organ plays at Christmas, Ken Griffin, and the Bells of Christmas chimes again, but... Cathedral organ on there. So yes. And if you guys don't know it, um, I actually have a section, a cube here, for just organ music. Because I want to, that's why. Shut up. It's my collection, not yours. I don't make fun of your freaking collection. All right, anyway. Next up. This one was also 99 cents. Still in the shrink. With it, mint shape, crystal gale. Could not pass this up because, as you know, don't it make my brown eyes blue. Love that song. Great grab. Crystal gale in the shrink. Also in the shrink, Daddy Boone. With the classic, of course, this is the one that's just, You light up my life. The only song that really matters from Daddy Boone. Um, but getting a like almost mint copy of it. Now I, now I can say I got all the Daddy Boone I need. Don't know if I really needed it to start with. But I got it now, and I didn't pay $4.87 at Kmart. I paid $0.99. Cents. So there. All right, help me out, guys, because this was one that I actually think I got ripped on, but I had to not pass it up. Somebody charged $1.99 consistency, but still in the shrink like new, Darrell Coleman. I don't know who he is, but I can say it's like new, it's in the shrink, and it's got the original inner, and it's in, you know, really new shape. Darrell Coleman. Anybody know anything about him? I sure don't. So, it's a discovery. I act like I should know this. I mean, maybe like, you know, like Quiet Storm, R&B, Soul. I I'm Okay, he's black. I'm guessing on that. You know, maybe that makes me a racist. I don't know. But, I mean, those jerry curls, right? So, I, I should be there. And if you look at the names of the songs, Somebody Took My Love. I should have known better. Take me back to my love. Do you love me? They're like, I'm thinking R&B. So maybe it's, you know, Norwegian death metal. I could be off. Could be. But Drew Coleman, let me know if you guys know anything about him. Oh, wait. Why did I just insert a video clip here? Duh. Oh, 
okay, see, now I know about him. I don't even need your help. It's called editing. I go out and edit, and then I find crap and put it in here, and then I make believe like I actually knew it. Yeah, so, yeah, that Drew Coleman, uh, that's one of the songs on here. I don't know. Ricky Skaggs, live in London. Another one. Somebody got a lot of these, like new, mint, still in the shrinks. Um, couldn't get up on it. I mean, why would I pass that up? I mean, there's that classic Ricky Skaggs, uh, you know, what do they call that? Hillbilly suit? You know, you got the jeans, but you still got a tie and some scruffy-ass shirt. Yeah. As you can see, that, that that's his thing. Ricky Skaggs, live in London. Now we move over to the Goodwill. I had picked up nothing at the Goodwill because I sat out in the car. Uh, but Mrs. Valiavano went in and she came out with some goodies. So these ones I'm going to consider sort of VCLT because I didn't pick them out and I didn't pay for them. I didn't buy them. My sweet love did. Thank you, honey bear. First one. Let me show you what I got in the mountain <clears throat> as a comparison. Da -da 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 in my mountain, I came across Carly Simon, which is uh, Come Upstairs. I got a couple copies of Boys in the Trees. Gosh, for a second there, I thought she was naked. Dang it. And then I got a copy of Spy, still on the shrink. That was really cool. But what I was missing of Carly Simon would be her debut album. And here it is. She actually was nominated for a Grammy for Best Female Vocalist for this record. Um, really glad to have this. Is it mint? No, but it's in good enough shape. I mean, I'll, I'll do the, because uh, my camera is actually, unlike others, you can actually pick up and see scratches. And you know what? It's good. It's good. Matter of fact, I've already spun it. Yeah, I, I had to. I mean, the lead-off track on there was a big hit. Um, that's the way I've always heard it should be done. But you say it's time. song so i got to me carly simon debut record now here's a fun one guys you guys might remember this one um there are no good guys there are no bad guys there's only you and me and we just disagree so let's leave it alone because we can't see eye to eye there ain't no good guy, there ain't no bad guy, there's only you and me and we just disagree. Look what I found! Yes! Got Dave Mason's Let It Flow. Um, in the original Red Shrink, or Red Inner, it's got lyrics and it's got a die cut in the middle, which is kind of weird. Usually you don't get lyrics and the die cut, but uh, yeah, Stephen Stills does guest vocals on a song on here. I was kind of glad to have this. I like that song. Dave Mason, Let It Flow. Let it flow. Let it flow. Is that creeping you out? Hi, I'm Dave Mason. Okay, anyway. Last but not least, what I found. Sit tight, guys. This might be a grail for some of you guys. The hit theme of Deliverance, Dueling Banjos. From the Springer Brothers. Yes, I know. <laughs> you can't have it. It's mine. Well, I'll trade you for... Maybe. Maybe a trade and some cash if you guys want to copy of this, but uh, this is going to my collection. Not only that, but Foggy Mountain Breakdown by Earl and Scruggs is on here, too. Flat and Scruggs. Um, so, yeah. Good stuff. I just give you crap. It's funny. But it's a nice Pickwick, and usually you see Pickwicks, they're all chew the crap. I don't know if they use the worst quality vinyl because they were the lower subsidiary label. But I never find Pickwicks usually with really good vinyl in good shape. And the fact that it's dueling banjos is even better. Squee like a pig! Ring a ding, 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 ding. Yeah. So that is what I've picked up this week. I'm going to be adding that to the collection. 
And uh, at some point, I'm going to spend some money on more inners and outers so I can go through because I don't feel like repairing and cleaning a record, just put it in a dirty, crappy sleeve and put it away. So all the ones in the raw sections are on hold until I can. So if you guys want some VCLT, instead of giving out records, if you guys want to give out some inner and outer sleeves, I'll take them. Um, but nonetheless, thank you for watching. Um, again, I'm going to be taking this next. We are ordering some sleeves. I will be taking the week off from my normal schedule again. we got one more week of that. I will periodically show videos if I need them, when I need to. But the regular scheduled programming will be starting again next weekend. And then we'll be back to our normal schedule of, and this is just a reminder to you guys, especially you new subscribers, on Mondays. Oh, God, it's been so long. What do I do? Oh, just kidding. Mondays is the Valley Vinyl Quickie. That's where I take a 45 record randomly from my collection, and we go deep dive to that song and that artist and learn more about that 45 while you're listening to it. You hear the stuff, words and pictures come on the screen. It's an interactive multimedia fun thing. Tuesdays. Tuesday when I do contest threads and entries. I have an idea for one coming up that it's going to be tag teaming with Randall Weaver. I know you're watching, Randy. We'll be doing that not, not this Tuesday, but the following Tuesday, as long as it's still in the month of May, it's going to count for the contest. And then Wednesday. Wednesday is, uh, what do I do Wednesday? Oh, no, Tuesday's the live stream. Sorry. Tuesday's the live stream. Wednesday's the contest day. Thursday is Breeze World. That's where Bree does her channel, uh, on my channel. Then Friday is VCLT, and then Saturday is uh, Value Vinyl, regular episode, or a thrifting. And then Sunday is where we do the deep dive, where I take a full 33 and a third record, and we go into a deep dive on the artist, that record, and little snippets of each song, so you can get a feel for the whole album, and maybe you'll want to pick it up. So um, that regular schedule, for all you new viewers, is coming back, but... Uh, what I've been doing this past week isn't what I'm more normally going to be doing. It's just what I'm doing this week because of life crap. And we all got the life crap. So thanks for sticking with me. Take care, guys. And we'll see you. B, B, C, you later. D, E, F, G, I'm going to miss a H. I have to go now. J, K, bye-bye now. L, M, N, O, I had a good time. P, Q, R, you're going to miss me. S, T, you are my best friend, V, W, X, Y, Z.